New research is starting to shed light on why children have generally fared better against COVID-19 than adults. ABC 10 News anchor Derek Stahl is going in depth to explain why the answer appears to be inside your nose. Researchers in Germany swabbed the noses of several dozen kids and adults, and they found something that surprised them. Kids who had never been infected with the coronavirus had high levels of virus fighting immune cells in their nose and upper airways, kind of like a preheated oven already on, ready to go. Adults only got high levels of these things after they got infected. Kids are our immune responding machines, but the mechanism for why they do so well is something that we haven't understood well. Dr. John Bradley of Rady Children's Hospital says the new paper in the journal Nature reveals new details about a part of the immune system that doesn't get a lot of attention, the innate immune system. The paper showed just how different it is in the lining of kids' noses compared to adults. The ability to recognize viruses in the cells is far better than adults. So if they get, get exposed to a virus, their specialized white blood cells are on it much faster than adults. After a vaccine or an infection, the body builds specialty defenses custom made for that pathogen. That's what's called the adaptive immune system. But there are other cells that patrol the body for new and unknown invaders. That's the innate immune system. It's like a fort with huge walls that prevents it from getting through into the body. And adults just have a little fence, not a high wall. Dr. Bradley says kids get exposed to new viruses all the time. Some studies show they can catch a virus every week. So they have lots of innate immune cells ready for something new. Children uh, have huge lymph glands. That's normal. Uh, and as you get older, by the time you're school age and a teenager, they sort of shrink down to adult size level. The new study tells doctors exactly what cells and what genes get turned on when the coronavirus first lands in our nose and upper airways. And Dr. Bradley says that's incredibly valuable because now researchers can look at the rare cases of kids who do get really sick and see what they're missing and potentially improve treatments. Derek Stahl, ABC 10 News. And we check the numbers here in California. There have been more than 4 million coronavirus infections in the state. Of those, 550,000 were kids. That's about 14% of the total cases. Fortunately, only 30 of those infections resulted in death.